Southwest Ambassador Bobby Jean Olson for She's Gone Country. We are here in Sheridan, Wyoming. Yes, I know it's not the Southwest, but we are going to be talking to Tom Balding with Balding's Bits and Spurs. And we are actually in the back room of his workshop getting to know a little bit more about bits. So this is kind of like bit 101. Thank you so much for taking the time to visit with us today and tell us a little bit about um, bits. If somebody came in and said, okay, I need a bit, what would be the first thing that you would want to visit with them about and tell them how to get the perfect bit? Uh, first thing would, you know, find out how, how old the horse was that they were, if it was a, a young horse, if it was the horse's first bit, it'd give us an idea of which bit to use to, to start them out with. Um, and you make these bits all, they're all handmade, American made. Yeah, they're from start to finish, we make every part of the bit right here. And uh, early on, I was told that how important it was that the bit wouldn't pinch. It was real important to be comfortable for the horse. Uh, that way the horse isn't, its mind is more focused on what you're asking the horse to do. Instead of saying, ow, my mouth hurts. Instead of being pinched or hurt by the bit. Uh, also, strength is real important. Uh, we, we use uh, all quality uh, steels, and it's made to pretty much, uh, everything's measured within just a few thousandths of an inch to, to make sure it fits and it's gonna be strong. And well, and the Western lifestyle, you don't have to be born in it to love it and to promote it in such a positive way, just like what Tom is doing here, making some of the top quality bits and spurs in the United States. Tom, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us a little bit about um, what it takes to build a pair of spurs, but also what people need to look for in quality spurs. Well, I have been involved in all types of manufacturing and I always say I was kind of blindsided. Uh, I had no idea how complicated it was going to be to, to build a, a really high quality spur. Uh, as you can see from this display board, there's uh, at least a couple dozen individual pieces and every one was completely hand cut and formed. Uh, I take a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of effort to come up with uh, the perfect shape to fit your boot. And we have uh, all different sizes uh, from children to large men's. We, we form the spur. And I think that's one of the most important aspects of a spur is that it, it fits on your boot really well. Now here at Balding's Bits and Spurs, it's not just about selling spurs. It's about customer service and producing a quality product and also promoting the Western lifestyle in such an amazing way. It was an honor today to meet you and visit with you, Tom. Thank you. Uh, 